All right, Legion, we're back again. Fallout 4. We'll kick some super, super mutant butt, right? So we need to go this way, so we'll go this way. Actually, I want to go to that diner, but not really. I want to just get to the place. No, it's still lagging a little bit. Penn Street Sewer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should go down there. Oh, Diamond City. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! Ooh, we made it! We made it! We made it. We're in Diamond City. Yay, Diamond City! Can't believe we made it. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. And that is Piper! Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What's a newspaper? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. 
Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a uh. busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates in I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Mmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Yay! Officer? Head on inside. Hey, Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? So, Piper's done this before? All the time. Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing. And sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hill screaming for blood. So I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. Mayor's on the warpath. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but... We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Wow, what a douche. I tell him my kid's kidnapped and he blows me off. Welcome to Diamond City. What? What's the matter? Heads up. Hey, kiddo. Got a paper sale. Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Paper. <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks, I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better eat up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. <laughs> You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. 
that someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for my baby. His name's Sean. You have a son, lady? Wow, you're old. Poof. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. If his business card isn't shaped like a heart, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I'm definitely sending you to the right place. Good luck, lady. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We can uh, let's see what we got here. Anyone got is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around here, we call your haircut the Scav Special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Yeah, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Oh, it's a barber. Maybe later. I got you. No problem. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't got a, oh, a doctor. Patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a... Facial reconstructive services. Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. 40 rads to clean me up? I like that. It's actually cheaper to do that than actually buy rad away and waste and it. That's that. Anything else bothering you? I'm pretty beat up. Uh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. Yay! Healed. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? haven't been hitting the chems too hard. Glad to hear it. Anything else? That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Okay, so we got a stylist, a doctor, a facial surgery, drug dealer. Looks like we got a restaurant right here. Power noodles. Do yourself a favor and just say What yes. are you saying? It's all he understands. Tell me a joke. No thanks. Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Guns, you say? Hey, it's the new girl. Am I right? Depends on who's asking. Name's Arturo. I sell protection if you're looking to buy. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I'll take a look, sure. Something for everyone. Well, let's see. Um, 
I can sell the board and that grenade that I'm not using. Uh, I can sell that and that. Oh, I was going to turn that into leather. Scavenger's outfit I could sell it to you. Mole rat chunks, mutant hound meat. Rare fruit, we'll keep all that. Let's see, squirrel bits, day tripper, carrots. Oh, I have to read that. I never, I never use a flame, we'll sell that. Okay, what do you got for gear? Let's see. Uh, apparel. Oh, she's got. He's got armor. Uh, let's see. Oh, that stuff's better. Oh, it's metal. It's gonna be heavier. Ooh! Wow, that's expensive. Crispy squirrel bits. Power armor frame where I can make power armor frame and get shipments of stuff. Let's see. I don't even know what what, what my guns use for ammo. Let's see. Um, that one's shotgun shells. Oh, that's forty-five ammo. Okay. Oh, I got pipe pistols to sell. Okay. So shells forty-five and cells. Uh, wow, that's expensive. We'll buy 15. Why not? Um, actually, I heard there was like a money glitch where you sell him one round. And then you take it back. No. Nope. Well, I don't use 38 rounds, so we'll sell them all of my 38 rounds. And I don't use... Let's see. Well, well, hang on. Well, I don't use that. Well, if I use the minigun again, I might want to hang on to that. So, let's see. We could check out his guns, weapons, weapons. There we go. Ooh, the big boy. It's a fat boy. Chinese saw, sword... Comfort gripped pipe gun. Ooh, that does 31 damage. Ooh. Ooh, 34. Pipe bolt action pistol. Wait, that uses 3088 ammo. Yeah, you know. Uh, nah, let's see. I think I'm good with the weapons I got right now. Let's see. Let's buy some ammo, though. Buy some 45. Oh, he's got fusion cores. Let's buy one. Yeah! Ooh, weapons mod table. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Oh, that's right. We took the armor booster, not the, uh... Diamond City right here. Is there an armor, armor table near here? Oh, you're using it. Excuse me, can I use this, please? I need to use this table, please. You read the paper? Damn sense. Yes. Hey, yeah. Among us. Excuse me. Don't walk outside Oop. the wall. I can now use defended. treated leather. High quality protection for sale. Let's see. Tempered. That's. Shop in safety. No sense allowed at the surplus. adhesive. So I can actually use the next. Do the next level, but I don't have the stuff for it. So let's talk to you? her. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. One statue of Diana impression coming up. Good. Good. 
Now, just to answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here. Wow. You. Trying to tell me you're human now? Synth? What's a synth? A synth, as in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes look real with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. <laughs> I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Like a human. Got it? <laughs> All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Let's see what you have. Just don't call it junk. Junk. Uh, she's got some weapons, too. Not as good. Ooh, 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 I can afford that, and it's better. <gasps> plus one agility, plus one perception. Oh, we're buying it. We're buying it. I don't care. We're, let's see, let's see what we can sell. We'll sell this. Um, is that all she sells? Oh, bobby pins, we need those. Um... really could use some of that other stuff, but I don't know. Baseballs, leather. Buy some leather stuff. Duct tape for adhesive. Aluminum, leather, antiseptic. Boom. Aha! -ha. Okay, so what's this? Home plate. Hmm. Let's see what we got. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's cool. I like that better. <gasps> Ooh, can we can we armor it? Ooh, I can scrap that. Wait, let's see. Need some custom hardware? We got a modify. For all your modifications. No, that's so the best. Plus bio. What? Biocom mesh? What's that do? Increased duration of Kim's by 50%. Oh! <gasps> So let's scrap that. Wait. Ooh. Oh, we used our only adhesive. Darn it. So that's the right arm. Oh, we're gonna lose out on our pocket. Sell everything to everyone except since no sense allowed here. Oh wait, it's five and five. What the hell? I just wasted that. For sale. Hand -tool Darn it. Pieces. Uh, let's see what needs that. Um. Can I put it on here? No. Darn it. I wasted the material. Wait, okay, what do we have? We got... We got arm, long arm, okay, that's five, five. 
right arm. So yeah, right arm. And then... I wonder if I could take the pocketed off of this. Make it standard. Diamond City Surplus. Oh, Everything you need. No. Then I take the pocketed and put it on the arm. Nope, it has to be separate because it's metal, but that's okay. Let's see, where is that? It's, um... Where is it? Oh, right there. Clip that. Okay, break that down. Break that down. Need some Pocket. custom hardware? We got a free See, I don't understand why the leathers can't be broken down in that. Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Okay. Alright. So like the Raider leathers and the road leathers. They should be able to be broken down in there. Okay. Let's go see. Let's go to Valentine's Agency. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for Raiders only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Oh, okay. No, of course. Now it wants me to go to combat zone. Oh, there's a schoolhouse. Uh, detective. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't, don't be exist. caught dead. Uh, I heard <laughs> from my cousin. From Commonwealth he knows weaponry. a guy that works for Shop in safety. They got a no code sense phrase and everything. The surplus. Follow the freedom trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. Your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... the detective... he's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. All right, so that quest is done, and now it should start a new one. for another speech at the wall. Don't do it. Please. 
Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? What? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sim! He'll kill us all! Oh my god. Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. <laughs> I robbed his body. Lol. Hey there. <sighs> Damn waste of life is what it is. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Okay. Oh, let's see. What was that other quest? Uh, wrote, no, not Road of Freedom. Story of the Century was, yep, Piper. Let's go do that one. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. I didn't <laughs> I tell her that. I'm wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Oh, that's touching you. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local woman says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Oh, whoa, huh? Oh, okay. Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? What kind of interview is this gonna be? Ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it... it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could've been worse. Could've been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now what would you like to say? You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? 
Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Cool beans. All right, boy, you ready to go? Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Hey, Nat. You can't stop the press. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, I know there's actually a lot more to do here. I think there's like a bar up here. You can buy a house here. Another glass of wine, Wellington. Certainly, sir. Anything for an understand this is what I like about you, Wellingham. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other. Come on, Darcy. Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul. Why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it. Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home. Later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Oh! He just got boned. Don't scuff Go my on. shoes! Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. He got punched, huh? Yep. Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. We're all so, well, old. <laughs> Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink if you're buying. Why are they all running around all weird? What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? If you insist. Set her up with another drink, Cook. You heard the lady, Henry. Give me more of what I like. Let's see if I can remember. Now, you need to order anything? So, is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Let's see what you got. Bottoms up. We need whiskey. Dirty water. Let's see. We'll buy all the dirty water. And we'll buy all his whiskey. He's got shotgun shells. What the hell? Then we'll sell you... Some drugs. Raider yet leather yet the others. Yay. Hey, you're in the only spot worth going to around here. Alright, Legion. Time to end the episode. So high five, fist bumps. See you in the next episode of Fallout 4. Take care.